Well, switching gears this month of April is Parkinson's Disease Awareness Month in the United States. Parkinson's disease is a progressive disorder of the nervous system that affects your movement. The disease is crippling over a million Americans and many are working to improve awareness of the disease. Here are just some of the statistics. Up to 10 million worldwide are estimated to have Parkinson's. Incidence of Parkinson's increases with your age. About 96% with Parkinson's are diagnosed after they are 50 years old. And men are one and a half times more likely to have the disease. And for more on Parkinson's disease and the fight against the illness, I'm joined now by Dr. Fiona Gupta in New York City. She is a neurologist at the North Jersey Brain and Spine Center. She also runs a monthly support group meeting for patients with Parkinson's disease. Welcome to the broadcast, Dr. Gupta. Thank you. Tell us, what are the signs of Parkinson's and where are doctors and researchers in terms of finding a possible cure? So this is a very exciting time for Parkinson's disease. April is indeed Parkinson's Awareness Month. And over the last couple of years, we know so much more about Parkinson's. So we are much more closer to that uh, cure that we are all waiting for. It is important to realize that every single patient is different with Parkinson's. There's no two people that are alike. But the classic symptoms are things like tremors, uh, stiffness, slowness of movement, and some gait disturbances. Um, slowness of gait, shuffling gait, and even falls. But there's hundreds of other symptoms that may go along with Parkinson's. Um, it's really a head-to-toe disorder, everything from depression, anxiety, sleep-related disorders, constipation, urinary issues, and so on. So really, it is important to do a comprehensive evaluation when evaluating any patient with Parkinson's disease. Is this a hereditary disease? Uh, so it is a combination of p potentially some genetic predisposition and environmental factors that go along to why a patient may develop Parkinson's disease. There are about 30 genes that have been identified for Parkinson's disease, and uh, pure genetic Parkinson's is quite rare. It's usually 5 to 10 percent of cases, but what we think is that someone might be genetically predisposed, and then something in the environment comes along and may set off the Parkinson's. So it is truly right now a blend between genetics and environment. Tell us, where are we in terms of raising awareness for this, this horrible disease? I mean, I remember last summer the great ALS bucket challenge, and it really brought ALS to the, to the front and center for people to know exactly what this disease is. Uh, where are you in terms of awareness with this disease, and what do you need? Well, I think we get stronger and stronger every year with regards to awareness. Um, there are some wonderful foundations, including the Michael J. Fox Foundation, the Parkinson's Disease Foundation, the National Parkinson's Foundation, uh, that really bring out um, a level of awareness. And I think um, we're more aware of diagnosing patients earlier, better treatments, and then ultimately things uh, potentially like gene therapy, stem cells that might be curative. So, you know, with April being Parkinson's Awareness uh, Month, there's a lot of fundraisers, there's a lot of um, events going on, but I think the more awareness, the better, because it is a, an extremely prevalent condition, and probably in the next five to ten years, our numbers are only going to double. So awareness is absolutely key when trying to beat Parkinson's disease. Well, let's certainly hope not. Dr. Fiona Gupta, thank you so much in terms of the numbers doubling.